Hello all, welcome back to FED Learning. And this video is a continuation of our earlier topic on angular pipes. Now, let's dive deeper and learn how to create a custom pipe. Also, we will cover the key differences between pure and impure pipes. So first, let's understand what steps we need to follow to create custom pipes. But before that, let's discuss when we need to create custom pipes. So in Angular, we should create custom pipes when we need to format data in a unique way or we need to reuse transformation logic across multiple components. Or also we can create custom pipes to improve performance by reducing calculations or sorting results. But these scenarios include cases where built-in pipes can't format data as needed. Now, let's move forward and discuss the steps to create custom pipe. And the first step is creation. We need to create a new pipe by either creating a new file for pipe or using the Angular CLI command ng-generate pipe pipe name. But if we create a new file for pipe, then we need to implement the second step, which is to implement the interface. Especially, we need to implement the pipe transform interface by adding the transform method to pipe class. Third step is to add transformation logic. In the transform method, we need to add custom transformation logic. And these three steps, creation, implementation, and logic, need to be implemented inside the pipe.ts file. Now, fourth step is declaration, where we import the custom pipe in the component class file of the component where it's needed. And finally, the fifth step is to use the custom pipe in the same component template file, just like we would use built-in pipes. Now, let's apply these five steps to create a custom pipe and explore few examples. So, I will open Visual Studio Code Editor. And let's follow the first step, which is creating a pipe. And to do this, I'll use the Angular CLI command to generate a pipe. And the command is ng generate pipe pipe name. P for pipe name. And I'll write pipe name custom. Hit enter. And this command creates a new custom pipe with a default pipe syntax. We don't need to write it from scratch. And the Angular CLI command generates two files a .ts file and a spec.ts file. And now we will focus on .ts file while the spec.ts file is used for testing. Now, inside the custom.pipe.ts file, you can see the default pipe syntax. And our custom pipe implements the pipe transform interface by adding the transform method to our custom pipe class. And this transform method takes in data as input Perform some operation on it and return the transformed data. And this pipe transform interface is imported from Angular slash core package. So if you create a pipe using the CLI command, you can skip the second step, which is implementing the pipe transform interface. And here, let me change the type to any instead of unknown. So we have completed the first two steps, that is creation and implementation. Now, let's move forward to the third step, which involves adding our custom transformation logic. So first, let's see an example of formatting a mobile number. For that, inside built-in pipes.component.ts, I'll declare a variable named mobile number of type any equals to, I'll assign a 10-digit number. Now, in the HTML file, I'll create a field for mobile number. Here I'll take H6 and inside that I'll write mobile number colon. I'll bind the value of mobile number variable using string interpolation. So for now, I'll comment out this string type pipes as well as a sync type. And now I want to format this mobile number by adding plus 91 and a space before it. Since we don't have a built-in pipe in Angular for this functionality, but if we need this functionality in multiple components, then we can add the logic inside custom pipe and we need to write required logic. I'll use a ternary operator, value, question mark, 
and inside string i'll add plus 91 and one space after that i'll concatenate the value colon value so this version of pipe first checks if the input value is to the and if it is the pipe appends the plus 91 along with space to it otherwise if the input value is falsy the pipe returns the original value unchanged so with this we have completed our third step as well now let's proceed to the fourth step which is declaration so in our built in pipes.component.ts file we need to add a custom pipe inside the import array and after this the final step is to add our custom pipe in the component template file and the syntax is similar to the built in pipes after the variable name we need to add the pipe operator followed by the custom pipe name and you can find the pipe name inside at the rate pipe operator so i'll copy this name and i'll paste it after the pipe operator and with this we have completed all five steps now let's check the output in the browser let me comment out this number type pipe as well and now as you can see here inside the class file we have assigned a mobile number without the plus 91 prefix but in the browser the same mobile number is displayed with the plus 91 prefix if i change this number to 909090 then you can see the same mobile number displayed in the browser with plus 91 prefix okay so with this we have successfully created and used custom pipe in angular application now let's add the next use case to the same example like if we receive a mobile number as undefined or an empty string or null from the back end api instead of actual mobile number then in this case i wish to display an a instead of an empty space if i save the changes now you can see the empty space so here instead of empty space i wish to display an a and to achieve this i'll add a if else condition inside our custom pipe.ts file so here inside this transform method i'll write if and inside this if block i'll check if the value is equals to equals to an empty string or if the value is equals to equals to null or if the value is equals to equals to undefined then i'll return the string an a and inside else block i'll move this conditional operator statement now as we have assigned a null value to this mobile number so with this logic we should see an a instead of an empty space so let's check the result in the browser and as expected we can see an a in front of the mobile number okay now next let's explore the another example of custom formatting specially formatting a date and we have already explored the built in dates along with its argument such as short short date short time medium medium date and medium time i'll comment out this and inside the browser we can see the output of all these date arguments but now but i want to display this date in the month and year format like this month slash year so let's achieve this quickly in the same pipe class so i'll comment out this number format code for now and to change the date format to month slash year using the custom pipe in angular we can create a new instance of a date pipe with the locale set to en dash us so here i'll write private date pipe equals to new date pipe and we need to import this date pipe from angular slash common package and inside round bracket i'll set en means english and us means united state and next in the transform method we will use the date pipe instance to transform the date to the desired format and to do this we will call the transform method dot transform and inside this method i'll pass value comma format for month i'll write two times m slash 
for year i'll write four times y and we need to return this statement so what we did we have created a new instance of date pipe with the locale set to en hyphen us and the en hyphen us parameter specifies the locale to use for formatting the date next in the transform method we used the date pipe instance to transform the date to the required format where mm -hmm represents a two digit month and yyyy represents a four digit year now to use this pipe in our angular template we need to provide a custom pipe name along with the pipe operator we have already imported the custom pipe inside class file now inside html file i'll copy this line number 16 and paste it below the mobile number and i'll replace this built in pipe date with custom pipe name custom i'll also change the pipe name to customized date format and replace this h4 with h6 now save the changes and we can see the date in the customized format on the browser 02 means february slash 2025 also we can display the date with the month name instead of the month number so for that we need to write m three times save the changes and you can see instead of 02 we can see the month name feb similarly we can print the date with dashes instead of slashes and this time i'll print the date in ddmmyy format save the changes and you can see the date first 02 indicates date second 02 indicates month and 25 indicates year so this is how we can create our own date format as needed so just to recap so far we have explored three use cases for custom pipes such as first formatting phone numbers second replacing the empty values null values or undefined values with an a and third customizing date formats so i hope you now understood how to create custom pipes in angular and by default all custom pipes in angular are pure pipes and to create an impure pipe you need to explicitly set the pure property to false within the at the rate input decorator here pure colon false okay so this is necessary to make a custom pipe to impure because the pure property is set to true by default when creating a custom pipe so now let's understand the difference between pure and impure pipes so in angular pipes are used to transform and format data for display in templates and pipes can be classified into two categories pure pipes and impure pipes so pure pipes are only executed when the input value changes for example in our mobile number formatting pipe the pipe will only be re executed when the mobile number changes which improves performance this means pure pipes have no side effects and angular caches the output of pure pipes so they are only re executed when the pipe changes and on the other hand impure pipes are executed on every change detection cycle regardless of whether the input value has changed they can have side effects and are not cached by angular we will understand this better with an example therefore both built in pipes and custom pipes can be either pure or impure depending on how they are implemented okay so now let's see the example of both and we have already seen an example of pure pipe with mobile number formatting but still i'll create another example for both pipes so first let me create two more separate pipes ls one for a pure pipe using command ng generate pipe pipe name pure and another for an impure pipe using command ng generate pipe pipe name impure now first we will finish the pure pipe example and then we will move on to implementing an impure pipe let me close this custom pipe and let me open the pure pipe.ts file and this time we will see the example of square a number so let's implement the logic inside the pure pipe to square a number and to do this we will simply multiply a number by itself 
so instead of null i'll write value into value we'll just delete this array and save the changes so this pipe takes a number as input square it and return the result now you can use this pure pipe in our angular template with its respective pipe name by importing it into the imports array of the required component class file so here i'll import pure pipe and then inside html file i'll create one more h6 element and inside that i'll write pure pipe colon where of five is after that i'll use string interpolation and here i'll pass value five then pipe operator and name of the pipe pure and i'll comment out this date pipe so this would output the square of five is 25 because five into five equals to 25 okay so this pipe is called as pure pipe because it only uses the input it receives and doesn't rely on anything else it always gives the same result for the same input and doesn't cause any other effects like if i refresh the page i am getting same output that is square of 5 is 25 but if i change the input here instead of 5 if i write 6 then in this case i'll get different output the square of 6 is 36 so it means with a pure pipe the output will only update when the input changes otherwise it remains unchanged now let's understand the example of impure pipe so let me open impure pipe.ts file and the definition of impure pipe is they are executed on every change detection cycle no matter whether the input arguments have changed since time changes every seconds a time example provides a perfect demonstration of how an impure pipe works so here i'll use two local time string method to display the current time and for the current date i'll use new date dot to local time string okay so this statement will display the current time and now to use this pipe in a template we must import the impure pipe into the required component so after this pure pipe i'll import impure pipe and then we can apply it simply by adding the pipe name so here i'll write impure pipe and inside the ts file we have already created one variable for current date so i'll use same variable and then pipe operator followed by pipe name impure okay now let's check in the browser and here you can see the time in r minute and seconds now let's refresh the browser multiple times and as you can see the impure pipes value changes with each page load even though the input value remains unchanged this is because as an impure pipe it executes on every change detection cycle updating the current time in real time so with an impure pipe the output can change even when the input doesn't change and note that using this impure pipe repeatedly can have significant effects on performance however in this case the performance impact is likely to be negligible as the pipe only returns a simple string value but in general using pure pipes can improve application performance whereas using impure pipes may compromise performance and in angular all the built in pipes are pure pipes except for async pipe the async pipe is an impure pipe because it can return different values over time even if the input doesn't change and this is because the async pipe is used to handle observables and promises which can emit new values asynchronously okay so this is how we have now successfully completed our coverage of pipes in angular and i hope this angular 19 tutorial has been helping you in your ongoing angular learning journey if so please share your feedback in the comments below so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to fed learning for quick and easy learning thank you bye bye